Welcome to the Canvas Faculty Course. You're already well on your way through the various modules. If you could look behind the computer of your online class, you may see students with learning challenges and even actual disabilities. They may not even be aware of them, or they may be strong self-advocates and know how to request special accommodations. In this discussion, we're not going to focus on either. We just want all of your content to be easily accessed by all of your students. Consider what accessibility means to you. Is it being able to open a door when you have an armload full of books? When we consider what accessibility is at TVCC, it simply means, quote, giving students with disabilities equal access and opportunities to participate in the college's educational programs, activities, and facilities. End quote. I expect if I could see you, you would be nodding your head in agreement. And you likely take personal pride to be sure students get access and opportunities to be successful. In online learning, accessibility means students with hearing challenges can access your online video lectures by reading captions, a student who has an arm in a cast can move through your screens with the tab key instead of a mouse, or a student with cognitive limitations might be able to download a resource paper with images on it as well as text. Accessibility benefits all of your students. But there are four laws that also require you to make your online content accessible. As we look at them, consider how you may already be in compliance or make a note of an area you would like to explore more. Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973 ensures the same online access for someone with a disability that everyone else has. That may mean extending the time you give for taking a test or finishing an assignment, or an alternative way for a student to submit a video who has a speech impediment. Section 508 of the same Act is more geared toward electronic and information technology and ensuring it is accessible to those with disabilities. Each time you add an alt tag text to describe an image on your content page or ensure it captions or on your videos, you are providing accessible content to your students. That accessibility checker you've been learning about in this module, it's another way to be sure your content is easily accessed by everyone. And you've likely heard of the Americans with Disability Act. It states those with disabilities can't be refused from participating in a service, program, or activity just because of a disability. So it broadens the scope of accessibility. Examples include using style sheets with headings, and if colors are used, they are of a high contrast. In Texas, we also have the Texas Administrative Code that addresses higher education and the Texas Virtual School Network. It not only mentions Section 508, but also Web Content Accessibility Guidelines that provide standards about how to make web content more accessible to people with disabilities, such as making sure the reading and navigation of your page is logical. Well, the staff at Distance Learning is here to help you as you create your course to provide alternative ways to engage and support your students. But you are likely well on your way. If you would like specific information about any of the resources today, just send me a Canvas email. I'll be glad to share them with you. Thank you.